Hi, you guys know me as a library programmer in level four, Miss Hannah. I'm here today with my lovely partner who is in school for atmospheric science, studying to be a meteorologist, but also has a particular interest in video games. And is gonna help me out with our review of the new Animal Crossing because I've never played Animal Crossing, but she's played a lot of Animal Crossing and has a lot of great talking points about it. Hi, so everyone's excited about uh, New Horizons because the last time we got a main title uh, Animal Crossing game was apparently November 8th, 2012 for the 3DS. So this is kind of exciting for a whole new generation because many of the younger audience playing it either wasn't around or was very, very young. Yeah, it's kind of weird to believe that for a lot of people, I guess old and young, this will be their first Animal Crossing game. It'll be my first Animal Crossing yeah. game. Yeah, um, it's definitely a good one to start off with. That's what I'm seeing and hearing. It looks beautiful. Yeah, my first was uh, Wild World on um, the oh, Nintendo DS yeah. back when I was young and... Uh, this definitely looks a lot better, for sure. What impact does the quarantine have on sales of this game? I'm sure that sales are pretty good. Um, a lot of people pre-ordered, and I don't think anyone foresaw the entire country shutting down. So um, I, I assume that as more people stay inside, the more they're going to hear about this on the internet and think, wow, this is a great way to connect with friends and kill time. And so I'm sure, I'm sure it's done great in the market. I'm seeing a lot of content hit the internet for Animal Crossing. A lot of people on Twitter are talking about it. It's all over my Facebook feed. It's oh, yeah. pretty much my whole Facebook feed. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm sure we've got some teenagers, some patrons listening that play it too. Uh, if they have good taste, definitely. For sure, <laughs> absolutely. Please play Animal Crossing, it's a very good game. Our next bit is Animal Crossing Special Edition Switch. I don't know much about this because I don't have money. Um, but they, they did come out with a special edition Switch with like a special skin on it um, for the game itself. And from what you told me, a lot of people bought a Switch when they announced it. And then mm -hmm. they, they did this special they edition. They announced the special edition and, and then like, suddenly... Wow, now I have this crappy regular Switch. Regular and Switch. Wanna, you know, and I want the nice Switch. Yeah. I am imagining that it's going to cause a lot of people to probably sell their original Switches to get the new one. I say a lot of people, but I can't imagine myself doing that. Yeah. Because this one's worth so much more money. It yeah. is really pretty. It is. It looks, it looks really beautiful. Nice. Um, and the thing is, is that if you want your personal Nintendo Switch to look like that, there are always skins that you can purchase mm -hmm. on the internet. And it's not the same, but at the end of the day, it's really just a cosmetic thing. I don't really think it mm -hmm. affects the performance of the Switch itself. I could be wrong, but... You know. I'll have to look into that. Uh, I, my Switch, when I mm -hmm. bought it, it had a Princess Peach skin on it. And I'm not, like, the biggest, most giant fan of the Princess Peach skin. I bought it used because, again, you know, money. Yeah. And, uh... I want one. There's like this really pretty purple one that kind of reminds me of Animal Crossing with the clouds on it. Looks kind of like Steven Universe. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. It's probably one I'm gonna get. It's like 25 bucks. Keep your original Switch. Slap a skin on it. Yeah. No. Looks absolutely. just as good. And I mean, there are lots of custom ones online um, that are customized or they're made just for certain games on the Switch. If you're a part of a certain fandom, um, you can. Oh yeah. It'll hook you up. You can put your favorite My Hero Academia characters on your Switch. So, digital versus physical copies of the game. I imagine that the quarantines in our current situation are probably affecting this a little bit. People getting digital copies versus physical copies. What's the advantage of getting a physical cartridge versus the digital download? Uh, the digital download, so the digital copy of the game will take up space on the Switch. And if you don't have enough available as it is, that can be difficult. I had to delete some old save data. Granted, like, it wasn't important to me because I bought mine used also. With physical copies, the save data takes up space, the game itself does not. When you when you get it digitally, the game itself is taking up a certain mm -hmm. amount of the memory. And then right. um, just the, the cartridge, only the save data takes up space, I think. So it makes so. it more space efficient to have the physical copy digitally. Mm -hmm. But then people are probably having difficulty getting physical copies with Amazon orders shutting down, GameStops are shutting yep. down. It's probably a lot harder to get a physical copy of the game. And you don't want to go out in public right now. You don't want to go out in public. I know that you can get a digital copy on Amazon. Amazon's giving out digital codes for their oh. purchase now, which is pretty cool. Or at least that's what I saw earlier. I think, you're, like, I think the digital has a lot of advantages. If you're someone who misplaces things pretty easily, like I do. Like me. <laughs> um, the digital one, as long as you have the Switch, you know, heaven forbid you misplace that. But uh, as long as you have the Switch, you have the game on there. So 
And I, I have like my personal favorites digitally downloaded, except for mm. Breath of the Wild. I got them with the really good. Breath of the Wild is the only game that I own on the Switch. That's it. I just have one. Mm. The other ones I have are uh, my younger brothers. So I've got Minecraft and Mario. And those are his big favorites. That and Kirby. It's so. good stuff. A lot of people are talking about Animal Crossing's effect on mental health and it having a positive effect. What are your feelings about that? I definitely agree. Um, Animal Crossing is a game that it's not particularly goal-oriented or story-driven, I guess. There's no combat, there's no real puzzles to think through. Uh, it's goal-oriented in that, you know, you're trying to buy the next house upgrade or you're trying to craft different items to further your life on the island or collect bugs and fish, whatever. Um, but it's not like, it's not like other traditional games where there's a plot and you have to go to a certain area mm -hmm. and fight this boss and do all of this. It's very much whatever you want to make of it. So it's not like story driven. It's not like beginning, middle, end. It's very open-ended, mm -hmm. very open Absolutely. to play. Do you suppose it helps people get their mental ducks in a row? I, I guess so. I think it provides a certain amount of like escapism or it, organizational it, comfort. It gives an escape from the hectic parts of daily life, I think. There's no job or school there. It's just you go and you catch bugs and you talk to your neighbors. Why be stuck at home in real life when you can be stuck on an island at home in Animal exactly. Crossing? Exactly. You are social distancing on the island too if you're doing it right. Hopefully right? Your, there you go. neighbor's house isn't less than six feet from yours. But um, it's also good for Say you have long distance friends, long distance relationships, um, especially right now where we're trying to cut down on the amount of time we spend near others. Mm -hmm. um, it's good for connecting with people that you might not be able to in the current circumstances. And it's just, I think it's, it's really a calming experience. The music is tailored to calm you down. Um, the interactions you have are positive ones with these little, you know, animal people that are programmed to like you. And are very cute. Most yes. of the time. Most of them are very Most very of them cute. are very cute, but I would I would get all give all of them a chance for sure. So you talked a little bit earlier about how this is our first <laughs> big name release since New Leaf. So how does this game hold up compared to New Leaf? Uh, I think they're both very good games. They're very different in certain parts. Um, with New Leaf, you kind of come in and this town is already established, you have businesses already lined up, and uh, with that one, you're chosen to be the mayor of this town. So you're helping develop it from a certain point. With New Horizons, it's actually, you're starting from like the ground up. You establish this island, you pick where the shops go, and you pick where uh, your neighbor's houses go, and you uh, don't manage it per se, but you definitely are like the driving force in developing things. Uh, somebody also mentioned to me Happy Home Designer and how this game compared to that one. This game might have elements of that game. Yeah, so the only real element it has, I guess, is uh, Happy Home Designer was kind of, I guess you would call it a spinoff from the actual series. It's all about uh, finding clients. So you're working for uh, like the Happy Home Academy or whatever it's called. And these uh, clients will ask you to design their houses and lay out furniture and stuff. So. New Horizons really streamlines, I guess, how decoration goes. It gives you a little uh, decoration mode in your house that you can move furniture around easily. And um, customization in uh, New Horizons is definitely on par with having home design. Would you recommend this game and why? I absolutely would. Um, what I've played of it and what I've seen of it, which, you know, sadly not everyone st tags their spoilers online, but, um, I think it's, it's, it's as good as the rest of them. I think the graphics are beautiful. Uh, little things like the wind blowing through the leaves and the, the water texture mean a lot to me and I think it goes a long way. Okay. Would I recommend this game and why? Yes, the answer is absolutely yes. I think um, the story is as is, is much of a story you can get in an Animal Crossing game. This one's fine. I mean, the prospect of populating in a deserted island is nice. The graphics are very nice. They take into account lots of little things like wind blowing, leaves and plants and clothing items. Uh, the hourly weather is something I really adore. Definitely, um, it can change from being cloudy and rainy to not rainy to sunny to all kinds of stuff. And there's also seasonal weather too, and I'm hoping seasonal events. I'm, I think there are, of course, it's an Animal Crossing game. Um, it's just as relaxing as the other ones. I really enjoy it, and I find that I can kill lots and lots of time for sure. 
killing time is something we appreciate right now when we are all stuck indoors. Absolutely. Does that conclude your final thoughts, or do you have some of those as well? Uh, final thoughts. Let's see. Um, I would definitely give it a buy, for sure. If you have the money to spare and you have a Switch, uh, I would definitely check it out. It's 60 bucks and it seems che uh, cheap? No, it seems steep, for sure. But I think there's enough content and enough playability, enough time that you can put into your island, customizing it yourself, making it your own, playing with other people, because I know a lot of people with the game a lot more than there used to be with other titles, so I actually have friends to play with now, which makes me happy. I'm excited to play it myself. I think I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, absolutely. Most of the time what I like is like a role-playing game type. Mm -hmm. Like a lot of the Japanese RPGs, I like Overwatch, so like a couple of like first-person shooters, but I think this will be something that will fall into a category that I really enjoy. I think it is going to be calming. I think the music and the, the graphics are going to have kind of a calming effect on me. Honestly, when I heard it was like a trapped on an island or like a deserted island kind of thing. I was kind of nervous it was going to come off like lostish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it seems really sweet in the way that it does it and it's very like comforting and not mm -hmm. very you don't seem like you feel stranded mm -hmm. or upset about it or it seems like a very voluntary like here buy an island. Yeah, no, it's actually a uh, getaway package that you bought before the start of the game. And you get there and it's like surprise. This this isn't even like an island yet. Dang, you have to name it yourself. Buy it getaway package and go buy an island. That sounds great. And uh, you start off with two neighbors. Uh, I think they are the jock and the uchi types. Because there are different uh, personality types that every character has. Oh, see? And uh, it's, it's very fun seeing who you eventually get and how you deal with them and things you can do with them. It's cute because there are lots of uh, animations that they have now when they're walking around outside. Um, they like sing and they catch bugs and they talk to each other. It's very cute. So our final thoughts, this is a game worth purchasing. It's not one of those kind of games that you're going to turn around and the game is going to go, here's another DLC, you want to pay us another $60? Here's another DLC, you want to pay us another $60? It's, it's full content when you buy it. So you feel like you're getting a lot for it, for your purchase, versus feeling like you're buying an EA game. At oh, which those point, microtransactions. The microtransactions yeah. will nickel and dime to death. Yeah. We'd also like to thank our animals, uh, my cat and three rats, for all of our background noises today, like the clinking water bottle and the scratching of the scratching <laughs> post and all of the other lovely sounds you might be hearing. I'm sure I will find pictures of at least some of them so that they can be properly thanked in our video. Well, they're making noise because it's about animal crossing. Oh, there you go. They there are animals. Yeah, in Animal Crossing. Yes, there are real-life neighbors. <laughs> That's fantastic. 